Nima Shakravati Gumaraju. I'm a senior consultant medical oncologist and a hematologist. Uh, and my qualifications are from the USA. So I'm American board certified in both. And I practice in the Apollo Hospitals, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today, we're going to address certain myths and facts about leukemia. Leukemia is a very broad subject. There are many, many different kinds of leukemia. Affects both children and adults. A lot of misconceptions in the general public about leukemia. So I'm here to answer any one of your questions. Leukemia is a cancer. That's a myth. Leukemia is a cancer. And uh, it's not one cancer. Leukemia is a generic word that includes several different kinds of cancer. Broadly speaking, they're what are called chronic leukemias and acute leukemias. Myth. Leukemia can adult anyone, affect anyone at any age. Uh, there are certain kinds of leukemias that do affect young children. The ki certain kinds of leukemias that are more common in uh, older children. There are certain kinds of leukemias that are common in adults. True. The most common blood problem in this country is actually anemia. And anemia is near universal in India. And the reason for that is micronutrient deficiency. Deficiencies of iron, folic acid, other uh, vitamins and worm infestations. That's the most common hematological problem in this country. And that's what makes most children and adults look pale or ill. And that is something we need to address. Leukemias are in general rare in the population, but when they do occur, uh, they are fairly serious usually. They need to be addressed by a specialist. Myth. As I said, broadly speaking, there are what are called chronic leukemias and there are what are called acute leukemias. Certain kinds of chronic leukemias, for example, uh, very low risk uh, essential thrombocytosis or certain low risk uh, polycythemia virus, they don't need to be treated at all. Or certain kinds of chronic lymphocytic leukemias, they don't need to be treated at all. We generally observe them once every three months to six months or so, and that's all. On the other hand, there are certain kinds of acute leukemia, AML, ALL, for example, uh, which can be very deadly if they're not treated. And those kinds of leukemias, we prefer to treat as soon as possible. The cause of leukemias are unknown in several cases, it is true. But in a lot of cases, we do know the causes. Uh, many leukemias, especially in young children, do happen uh, because of certain genetic defects that can be acquired during the person's lifetime or in rare cases they can even be inherited for example everybody's heard of down syndrome children born with a chromosomal defect that leads to down syndrome has a high risk of leading to leukemia so we do know the cause in such cases in some cases the causes are strongly suspected for example certain kinds of contaminants and pollutants such as insecticides in the food we eat nitrites in the in the uh, uh, water that we drink or in certain professions, they're exposed to certain chemicals such as uh, carbon tetrachloride and so forth. So certain kinds of chemicals or prior treatment for other diseases uh, with certain kinds of chemotherapies, for example, rheumatoid arthritis or SLE, certain kinds of leukemia, we do know the cause. In several kinds, we do not. False. That's a total myth. If there is one message I want to give through this uh, video to the world, it is that the majority of leukemias are curable in this day and age. Different strokes for different people, different strokes for different diseases. So depending on the individual who gets it, depending on the kind of leukemia they get, depending on the risk parameters, the cure rates may vary. But a lot of leukemias are highly curable. And please remember this. We need to invest the time, the effort, uh, and the determination to get cured and seek appropriate help from a proper expert. And uh, for example, one of the deadliest leukemias known to man is something called acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, which occurs in children. Potentially, if treated properly, ALL has cure rates that exceed 90%. Uh, so that's not a small number. On the other hand, the certain kinds of leukemia, such as chronic leukemias, which I mentioned uh, as an answer to the first question, the certain kinds of chronic leukemia, which don't even need to be treated. For example, uh, very low risk CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, that's let us say occurs in an elderly person, usually do not require treatment. They live a normal life and a normal lifestyle, even with the CLL and we just observe it.
uh, myth. Anyone with the way the, the question is framed, that's a myth. Anyone with leukemia does not need to go for stem cell transplantation. Certain kinds of high-risk leukemias, for example, we just mentioned ALL, certain kinds of high-risk ALL, certain kinds of high-risk AML, or certain kinds of leukemias that do come back. Uh, allogenic stem cell transplantation, which means uh, taking stem cells from some other person give, and uh, giving it to this person after destroying their spoiled bone marrow, uh, is curative in a lot of cases. So yes, autologous or uh, allogenic stem cell transplantation more commonly has a very definite role in the cure of certain kinds of leukemias, but a lot of leukemias do not require it. Myth. So as we just said, there is a lot we can do to improve the outcomes of patients. Certain kinds of leukemias have cure rates that cure rates that exceed 90 percent. So that's a that's a big number. Uh, certain kinds of leukemias are a chronic disease that do not even require treatment and then you have a whole vast range in between. Even in certain leukemias which are not curable, which we say is not curable, even then we can do quite a bit to improve the quality of life and deal with the symptoms that such unfortunate patients have. There is a lot we can do to improve outcomes. The key to dealing with leukemias or any other serious disease is awareness. So the number one thing is that people need to be aware that such entities exist. They need to be aware of what are the early symptoms that, that may uh, cause them to seek help. They need to be aware that there are uh, specialities, specialists and centers available in this country which can give excellent care for such leukemias. And they also need to be aware that if we are able to give the proper commitment and the proper drive then a vast majority of these leukemias can be dealt with, many can be cured, many do not even need treatment, and many more we can improve the outcomes in one way or the other. Awareness uh, and right action at the right time is the key.